So here's a very simple power supply that I did for the electronic projects that I'm normally working on. Um, basically, you have three power lines that are the three volts, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. Each of them, each of these um, power jacks is connected to a wire inside. There are three colors of wires. There are the 3.3 volts, this orange, the 5 volts that is red, and the 12 volts that is yellow. Um, also connected to this switch, there is a green wire inside that is the one that tells you know the whole power supply to turn on. Uh, there is another you know switch in the back. This is a little newer um, uh, newer power supply, so it has this one. It's kind of redundant. But, you know, I didn't want to take it off, I just figured, you know, I just leave it on. Uh, I, I don't think it has a switch, I'm not sure why this, it has a, I'm sorry, a, a fuse. So I'm really not sure what this actually does. Um, and then there is a dummy load that you're going to need. You can use a light bulb, you're going to use a, an extra fan, you can use, like I did, a 10 watts, 10 ohms resistor. It's a square resistor, you can get a Radio Shack for about a buck. Um, if you have any doubts about the um, voltages in each of the wires on the side of a power supply, you will have what voltage each of the colors carries. You can probably see it here, um, but you know, you're going to see it. And on the bottom, I just put these little pads that, you know, otherwise you will scratch all the table where you're working on. So let me just quickly show you how it works. Uh, there's one thing that I'm not sure why happens, I'll tell you in a second. So I turn it on and I had the switch on, and you'll see the light that it went on. Um, that means that it is on standby mode. Um, the computer has some reasons to have that mode. Uh, something about the mother motherboard, using it for shutting off the the computer when you shut it off or something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not very familiar with it, but there is a mode for that. And that's what it's telling you that is in standby. Basically means that it's plugged to the wall. This little light um, is going to tell us when it's on, uh, in case that you cannot read that. Um, this one is going to tell us that it's on. And You know, inside you have, like I told you, the orange, red, and yellow uh, wires that I connected one to each, and I uh, I use the heat shrinked, um, you know, the one they're using for the wires to, you know, to make sure that none of them are going to touch with each other, and I cut the other ends, uh, the other wires, and I just simply wrap them there, and I had to put the the fan on the outside because it didn't fit on the inside. So nothing really complicated. Just put it on the outside. Make sure that the the air is going downwards towards the the heat dissipators, and that's it. Uh, there's one thing that I'm not sure why is happening. When I turn this on, let me just show you with the fan. I turn this on. I just get I just get a little bit of action there, and then it doesn't go on. Um, and just playing with it, I find out that if I do that four times quickly, one, two, three, four, the thing starts working. Not sure why. If I do three, it doesn't work. If I do four but slower, it doesn't work. Not sure why that's happening. Probably you can figure it out and write in the comments if you know the reason so I can fix it. It works, so I'm not going to complain much, but probably you can find out about it and not make the same mistake. But the connections follow the diagram that I'm going to put down in the description that is taken from a project in Instructables. Uh, Instructables. It's a great site in case you don't know it. Um, the connections are very simple and you know you can have your own bench power supply. Very useful. I didn't still I had to put this 2.1 millimeters power jack uh, probably I'm, I'm gonna put it somewhere around here because it's the only place where I have you know space in the inside because over here there are there's a drum former and there is a, 
uh, heat dissipator and wires and power coil and stuff like that. Um, so this is the only place that I can put it, basically to use my Arduino and to power all the things. So it's going to be a 5 volts power supply, um, you know, in case I don't want to use that breadboard to power the Arduino through the 5 volts pin. So the, um, let me show you the voltages. They are not exactly what they should be, like 3 volt, 3.3 volts or, or such, but they are very close. Um, you can try connecting more than one wire to each of them to see if you get closer to the actual voltage. I don't know if that's going to change it, but that's something that I thought to do in the next one. So this is 3 volts. You can see it over there. It's 3.3 volts according to the specs. So it's a little bit high. This is 5 according to the specs. It's a little bit low. And this should be 12 that is high too, yeah. Is high, but you have your three power supplies here: the 3.3, 5, and 12. Uh, if you if you need nine, you know voltage is. Um, let me use the right terminology. I think it's power different. No, it's power differential or voltage differential. I, I don't remember now. But you can connect one of you can use one of them as ground and the other one as. Um, um, is that giving me power? Oh yeah, this because it. Let's just do this. So power uh, voltage differential differential is what voltage is. So over here you can see that you're getting eight volts because that's twelve minus the four point as twelve twelve point how much is twelve point sixty eight minus four point sixty seven and we get roughly eight volts. So if we do this, we might get nine, some almost nine. Yeah, closer to nine in case you need nine volts. Um, I wish we could get a little bit, you know, more accurate readings on this. No, not readings, but um, you know, closer to the specs. But I, I, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of a, a rough estimate that they put there in the in the specs. Not a rough estimate, but you know. So basically, that's it. You can find all these components in Radio Shack. I think I spent, I had this already, but you know, I, I wanted to put a smaller one, but I didn't have one. So I think I spent about five bucks total. Um, I think I'm more like six or seven bucks, actually. And that's it. I hope it's useful.